this video, we're going to look at the average rate of change. And we're going to do that using a set of data from Facebook. So this is the number of monthly active users in millions each year for Facebook. So that is how many people log in to use Facebook at least once a month. Now, the average rate of change is calculated by taking the change in the dependent variable and dividing it by the change in the independent variable. So that's why it's so important to know which is which. So that would be another way of saying that would be the change in the vertical axis over the change in the horizontal axis with respect to the graph. So this is both with respect to a graph. Now we write that with the Greek capital letter delta. So in the formula, we actually write average rate of change equals delta dependent over delta independent. And the Greek capital letter delta, it looks like a triangle essentially. And what it means is the change in. So it's the change in the dependent over the change in the independent. Now in the case of Facebook, we first need to consider what's the dependent and what's the independent. The place where we control the measurement is the years. So the years will be our independent variable that goes in the denominator and our MAUs, the monthly active users, will be the dependent variable and that will go in the numerator. So our formula is going to be the average rate of change equals delta MAUs over delta time. Now, we'll do that for pairs of years. So we're going to look at going across the table. We have the year 2009, 2011, 2014, 2016, and 2018. Notice those aren't evenly spaced. That's important. And then we have the MAUs in millions, 350, 800, 1300, 1800, and 2320. So first we're going to calculate the average rate of change for the interval between 2019 and 2011. So that means we're going to take the difference in MAUs, that's going to be 800 minus 350, and we're going to divide that by the difference in time. So that's 2011 minus 2009. 800 minus 350, that gives us 450, and 2011 minus 2009 gives us 2. So we get an average rate of change of 225. The next time interval is from 2011 to 2014. So that's 1300 MAUs minus 800 in the numerator. And the denominator, it's 2014 minus 2011. That simplifies to be 600 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator, 600 divided by 3 would give us 200 for the average rate of change. We'll continue the process, so the interval 2014 to 2016, we'll do 1800 minus 1300, that's the difference in MAUs, or the change in MAUs, over 2016 minus 2014, the difference in time. That gives us 500 divided by 2, which simplifies to be 250. And then finally, the interval 2016 to 2018, we do 2320 minus 1800, the difference in MAUs, divided by 2018 minus 2016. And so we have 520 divided by 2, or 260 for the average rate of change. Okay, so we've calculated an average rate of change for each jump in years. And it's important to remember that, um, that this average rate of change is a change in monthly active users in millions over years. So let's choose one of these intervals and describe what it means in you know words. Let's choose the last one since it's the most recent. So between the years 2016 and 2018, the number of monthly active users on Facebook was rising at an average of 260 million per year. So you can see that's quite a mouthful. It's a lot of really technical information and when we're measuring average rates of change on 
real world applications, that's often the case. So you might find it easier if you first write out the units themselves. So this is 260 million MAUs per year, that's over years. That might help with phrasing the statement at the bottom of the page. Just to recap, an average rate of change is the change in the dependent variable over the change in the independent variable. The time intervals aren't always evenly spaced, so do be careful with that. Don't just always assume it's one or always assume it's two. Sometimes it's not, double check it. Um, otherwise your denominator is gonna be off for one of your calculations.